Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. We're talking about the Bivy Stick satellite communication device, and I wanna help you try to make a decision on whether or not you feel like this is the right device for your backcountry use. Now I've had the Bivy Stick for the past six plus months, and I've taken it out on virtually every trip that I've been on. I've been using it a ton, and I feel like I'm finally at a point where I can share my experience and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's talk about the concept of this first. What I feel like Bivy has done a really good job of putting together is a device that makes communicating by satellite accessible and easy for people that go out on a fairly infrequent type of, of use, but also people that go out all the time. So what's cool about this is you don't have any kind of annual contract to sign. There's no activation fees. And so it makes it really easy to start and stop using the device uh, and paying for it whenever you want. So for $18 a month, you get 10 credits. So this runs off of a credit system. If you don't use all of those 10 credits, which I'll explain how they work here in a second, then they are going to roll over to the next month as long as you continue uh, paying on that month to month kind of contract. Once you cancel and put it away until you're ready to use it the next time, then you lose those credits. So what does a credit get you and how does it work? Basically, any type of uh, task that you use with the Bivy Stick, you're going to use a credit. If I send a text message, that uses a credit. If I receive a text message, that uses a credit. If I pull a weather report or share my location, every one of those types of uses or actions is going to equal a credit. So that is the first con of the device. I feel like it can be really easy to blow through credits and rack up a bill a lot faster if you are just paying for the minimum at that $18 a month for the 10 credits. Yes, you can keep using the device past those 10 credits, but it's gonna charge you 50 cents for every uh, additional credit that you use beyond those 10 credits. So you do have the option to prepay and purchase additional credits uh, so that you can be ensuring that you're not spending a lot of extra money to be able to communicate. But when you do receive a text, make sure that you tell people that you're going to be texting to not send a bunch of messages because that's going to use your credits as well. But for $34, you can purchase 100 credits and prepay for those and that should last you a good amount of time. Now for $60 a month, this is new that they've added since I uh, first got this, you can pay $60 a month for unlimited credits, which I think is pretty cool. If you're going out a lot and this is something that you're going to be relying on, then I think that that $60 a month could be worth that investment if you want to be able to communicate a lot. I know like a recreational plan or the safety plan with the inReach from Garmin only gives you uh, so many different types of messages that you can send. Yes, you're limited on characters of what you can send with this, but I can send any type of message that I want in a really intuitive, good and easy to use uh, messaging uh, system within the Bivy app. So what are the other core things that the Bivy Stick provides and gives you? One of the things that I really enjoy is it gives you a dedicated phone number. You've got the ability to activate SOS. You've got the ability to pull weather reports in three day and seven day periods, which is awesome. And they're detailed, they're really great. And that's been one of the, the better features of this. You can send and receive text messages. And then within the app itself, you're able to download maps to be able to access offline when you are not in an area that you have cell phone service. So lots of really cool things to be able to do with this, but there is one glaring negative that I wanna talk about with this device. Now the Bivy Stick requires you to use your cell phone to be able to connect to the device via Bluetooth. That's not necessarily a big deal. However, the negative is there is no way for me to activate SOS from the device itself. And every other device out there has the ability to do that. The Spot has the ability to do that without connecting to your phone. 
It also is available on the inReach. Those are gonna be the other two most popular devices that people are using in the backcountry that are a communication device as well. This does not have the ability to activate SOS from the device itself, and that can be a deal breaker for a lot of people. But let's play scenario land for a second. You find yourself on a trail that is really steep, and all of a sudden, you lose your phone pulling it out of the hip belt pocket of your pack, and it pitches down the cliff, falls 100 feet, and you have no way of accessing that, and you are alone by yourself. What do you do? You've got a device that should be able to activate and call for SOS for search and rescue to come help you, but you can't do that now. So really what you have to keep in mind is ensuring that when you are using the device that with your cell phone, you are taking extra precaution to make sure that you've got the ability to <laughs> not lose the devices. Otherwise, you do not have the ability to activate uh, search and rescue to come and save you in the event of an emergency. Now, what you can do if something does happen to your phone, let's say it dies, is there is a 5200 milliamp battery in here that will allow you to charge your phone from the bivy stick. And so you've got the ability to charge twice uh, minimum with like a basic sized iPhone. And that's a great feature about the Bivy Stick that I do appreciate. However, if you're gonna be using this a lot, then you want to make sure that you've potentially got some other kind of device battery pack that you can use to charge your phone rather than relying on this in case it dies and you can't send uh, messages or activate SOS if you need. The other option with this is to have somebody that is going with you to download the Bivy app on their phone so that if something does happen to your phone, you're able to connect to their phone with the device and use the device that way. You just have to make sure that you know phone numbers and such of loved ones on your phone to be able to type it into their uh, device if they don't have your contacts in there as well. So after six months of use, what is my overall impression of the device? What, how has it worked for me basically? And I've had this thing in the mountains and in desert canyons and every single time I have been able to successfully send a message out and receive a message but it does take a period of time depending on how far it's have to, having to go what the cloud uh, situation is like and how much access i have to the sky this does use the iridium network so you've got a reliable satellite network that is used by other types of satellite devices and it connects well it's been reliable i've never had an issue of not being able to communicate with it. I love being able to text my wife, let her know what's happening, share my location, and she is able to click on that link on the location, pull up a map and see exactly where I'm at, and it's really intuitive. I love that aspect of it. The user interface of the uh, app and the device is very intuitive. It's very user friendly easy to use and it gives you all of the information that you need. The weather reports are fantastic. The tracking is great to be able to follow along on the uh, downloaded maps when you are offline. Just so many aspects of this device are really, really cool. It just has that one big negative for me that I would like to be able to activate SOS on here if I don't have my phone. So hopefully they'll make a change with that in the future but I understand that this is the first iteration of this device. And so in future upgrades, future versions, uh, maybe something like that will come into play. Let's talk about the price. $350 or $349 for this. Now, how does that compare to others out there? You've got the InReach Mini at $349. You've got the Spot that is gonna be around the $250 range. Is this worth $350 compared to the inReach, given the features and the uh, no contract, no activation fee aspect? I think, honestly, it's probably a little bit overpriced. 
maybe 299 would make this a little bit more accessible and make more sense in my opinion than the $349 price range but I don't understand and know all of the ins and outs of how expensive it might be to create these and run on a satellite network. Now to quickly just show you the function of the device, you've got this uh, cover that goes over that helps uh, protect all of the electronic uh, ports here on the inside. This is more or less like splash proof, so you can get it wet, but it's not totally waterproof. If I want to turn it on, I've got the power button here. I'm gonna push and hold that until these lights pop up. And now the device is on and it's gonna power up. And here on the side of the device, I've got the satellite that when it's red, it's not connected. When it's blinking green, it's connected. But you'll use the app to be able to know how well it's connected to the satellites. If I click the button, it's gonna give me an indicator of battery life. This is my input USB micro to be able to charge, and then the output, a standard USB to be able to charge uh, external devices. To turn it off, I'll push and hold until I get two blinks, and now the device is powered off. So guys, that is the Bivy Stick satellite communication device. I think it's great and for what it provides and its accessibility, its price range, all of that, I think it's a really great product and I am excited to continue to keep using it and I, I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. My wife has enjoyed it. My friends that have been with me have enjoyed uh, the ability to communicate in a really low cost, accessible type of, of manner. So Bivy Stick, you're cool. I like it. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video.